Well, in case you didn't know where uh, Todd White got his anointing from, uh, we can we can look at this. Just surrender. He said, "I, I love you, Lord." Maybe not that much, but let's continue. He said, I love you. I love you, Lord. He said, I love you. You feel it? I suffer from the same thing sometimes, you know, when you're singing hymns, sometimes you forget the words. I understand, Benny. I know where you're coming from, man. They're just lifting. It's lifting. You feel it, don't you? Let's hope it doesn't mean what we think he meant. Get on your knees and thank him. No, Both don't, Todd. Oh, come on. There he goes. Lift your hands and thank God for this. You don't know what's going on. You don't need to know. <sighs> it wasn't what I thought it was. Thank God. You don't need to know. J just all of you. Just pray in the spirit for just a moment. Come on. I love you, Lord. I don't know about you, man, but filled with emotion when I watch this. I'm just so touched. It's all he's waited for. I'm just so. It's all touched. he's waited for. So touched. You're special in the kingdom. <laughs> Need it. In the kingdom. Every obstacle in your life. Look at the nuns there, look. He will remove it, I promise you. <laughs> look at the nuns. In case you didn't know, Benny Hinn's very pro Catholic. He's been to the Vatican several times. Todd White has spoken about ecumenicalism. He's spoken about um, a lot of Catholics are saved. You know, wow. You know, it's just, just awesome, really, isn't it? This is a special word for you, Todd, and your wife also. Todd, this is a special word for you. Todd, it's a special word for you, Todd. I think it just sounds a little bit melodramatic, but maybe I don't. It's me. He adores you. Not only loves you, adores you. You just told him how much you love him. And our love in comparison to his is, oh, so cheap and so weak. His love is eternal. I think I thought that guy was going to be sick there, but she's sleeping. Um, he is looking at something he's holding in between his hands. It's just a little tiny thing he's got in his hands there, he's just staring at it. That guy is not safe. This guy thinks, what am I doing here? And so, Lord, I lay my hands on Todd. And I ask you, Lord, be favorable to him. Gracious to him. May the force be with you, Todd. Don't touch him. Be gracious, Lord. Completely. That they're gonna leave now, now. This is the time moment. It's gonna be alright. Todd, it's gonna be alright. It's gonna the be alright. Peace right. of heaven is yours. It's gonna be alright, Todd. The word impossible doesn't exist with him. Doesn't exist with God Almighty. Didn't you hear me say tonight? If the Holy Ghost can turn God into a human being, into a seed, deposit that seed in the womb of Mary, the Virgin, what he can do with you? Limitless power. Okay, so he, he likens Jesus Christ, the Son of God, 
being born of a virgin and entering into this world um, in comparison in fact it's nothing compared to what God's going to do with Todd White he's got lim limitless power Todd White limitless power <laughs> just surrender he said I I love you Lord feel sick man enough of that okay let's hear oh, what else is there here Benny Hinn Jesus was reborn in hell interesting His body laid in the grave. How many understand what I'm saying here? Jesus, the Son, has his own spirit that he committed to the Father that went to the underworld and defeated the devil and the Holy Ghost wasn't there. On the cross, what? he cried, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Isn't that right? Now, for those of you who don't have a discerning spirit, um, De Benny Hinn is demon-possessed and he's mocking Jesus Christ. Which means the Father left him. The Holy Ghost left him. Well, the Holy Ghost left Jesus, according to Benny Hinn. Seriously? When he went to the underworld, he did not go down as the Son of God. No, of course he didn't, Benny, because you're, you're a devil, you're a demon, aren't you? You don't know the true Jesus Christ. He went down as the Son of Man. Of course he did. Of course he did, Benny. Give me a scriptural reference for that, Benny, shall we? No? What, you don't want to quote the Bible? Now, please listen. He hung on the cross as the Son of God. But he went to face Satan in his home, in the underworld, in hell, as a Son of Man. Just a little bit like Superman. Is it Superman 3? Superman 2, I can't remember which one it is. But, uh, <coughs> that's what I think of that. Now, now, people, don't you dare repeat what I say unless you say it the way I say it. For in this is contained the balance of this whole Dude, message. That guy actually thinks he's speaking the word of God. I mean, is, is this just like a, a witch convention or, you know, an occult Satanist convention and they're pretending to, to be Christians or, or everyone here? You know? When Jesus Christ went down to the underworld, the Holy Ghost was not there. The Father had left him. The Holy Ghost had left him. Angels did not go with him. He went by himself. He destroyed the works of Satan by the power of the Holy Ghost as the Son of God. But he destroyed Satan by the power of the second Adam as the son of man. Um, now I know Benny's been caught smoking drugs, um, smoking pot and so on. Um, apparently he said he had repented. Yeah, we'll see about this. It's quite simple. See, Jesus said by the fruits you will know them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just watch the person's fruits. See if they... Uh, display uh, a clean life, a Christian character, if they show true Christianity, then they're really for real. Maybe a little bit clearer there. There is a joint, son. You worked hard for it. There we go. There we go. I thought this guy was at his meeting. Well, it wasn't the guy that was in the car. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, there's no telling what they're going to say next. Hello? Hello? Which revealed two heroin related deaths within his ministry. After returning from California this week, Hinn spoke to his employees about the public revelations. He also sent someone to talk to our Tony Pipitone. Benny Hinn had agreed to talk to, to us in person about his church, but canceled after seeing our report last week. Instead, he sent a spokesman who says Hinn is upset about that report, a report on the role of heroin in the deaths of two employees. 
Hinn's employees was David Delgado, one of Benny Hinn's personal assistants, the man helping Hinn into his jacket before a crusade appearance last year. This is video from last December on what would be his last trip with Pastor Hinn. At the time, an Orange County homicide investigator was looking to question Delgado about the source of heroin that just weeks earlier had killed another employee of World Outreach Church, a man Hinn had trusted to babysit his children years ago. But the questioning never happened because by the end of 1997, Delgado too was dead, a result of heroin abuse. Believe me, I mean that. I've said that to the Lord. I said, Lord, I never want to bring shame to your name. I've been in this too long to mess it up now. Oh, donating money to the Vatican, of course. And I think, obviously, you know, when you get over 30 degrees in Freemasonry, you got to visit the Vatican. I think it's, I forget what degree it is, but it's within Masonry as well. So, as I say, all roads lead to Rome. All right, I reckon that this dream that Benny had um, this was dated the beginning of this year, um, March, and I think this dream was from the Lord. I'm just going to run through the, 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 the vision that Benny had. I'm just going to look at this. What means everything is Him, because what I saw in my dream is I saw a lot of this. That's what scared me. Mm -hmm. There was a, Jeff, listen guys, there was a whole... So he basically had a dream that really scared him uh, for a number of days. And I believe this dream was from the Lord again. And we'll, we'll look at its meaning. And uh, if Benny Hinn has a chance to repent, then pray that he repents with all his heart. Hold on. I had this dream last week. A whole line of people. And very few got this. And Jeannie on the organ... This was a lady I knew back in Florida named Jeannie Clattenburg. She's in heaven now. She was married to Alex Clattenburg, who now has a great church in, in Orlando. And I saw her in, I saw her in heaven. I'm, 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 I'm going to call dear Alex and tell him that. This was, I've not seen Jeannie in years. She, she's been gone for a long time. She wrote an, a song that was... For you are a chosen generation. She wrote that song, and m many beautiful songs. So I, I see her sitting on the on, on this organ playing two songs, only two songs. One, a song of welcome, and two, a song of rejection. Okay, so so this woman is in heaven, um, playing music for lines of people who are standing at the the throne of Jesus Christ. And if they get accepted into heaven, there's welcoming music. If they get rejected, then there's uh, rejection music. I see the Lord standing on the other side doing this or that. You can't believe how many times he did this. Well, they were taken away from the gate. Think about that, Benny, my friend. I mean, I don't know. I've never personally met you, Benny, but this dream is from the Lord, my friend. You ever happen to see this video? And your little sidekicks, you know, uh, Todd White and all that. Now he's not even a sidekick. Come on. Then my my turn came to enter, and he did nothing. There was no this and no that. And I woke up and the Lord spoke to me. He said, "Don't blow it again." Don't blow it again, that man. That was only a few days ago. I Woo Benny, Benny, Benny. This I have an, an audience of three people here. I have Brian here and Pam here and Jeff behind. If we don't come back to his first love, he'll sp spit us out. That's what he said. He said, you, you're hot. Now, that message was to the Laodicean church in the book of Revelation, where they say that they've gained in a lot of goods, and yet uh, spiritual or spiritual fruit is neither hot or cold. Um, so 
I believe this is a warning dream that the Lord gave Benny and uh, I'm not sure what action he's actually taken to uh, actually seek the Lord in repentance and, and in righteousness and in serving him and uh, let's be honest uh, I don't believe that many many miracles that Benny quote end quote is, is actually done is, is from the Lord and he has to examine himself um, about this the father left him yes or no yes. the Holy Ghost left him yes or no yes. that spiritual death but when the Holy Ghost came back he was begotten from the dead he was born again he was reborn if he was not reborn I would never be reborn how can I face Jesus and say Jesus you went through everything I've gone through except the new birth I got something you don't know no, I think we do know what it is Benny you got a lot of false doctrine and you've deceived many many people and uh, you need to repent and you need to uh, start exposing what works of darkness you're involved with that's what you need to do Benny uh -uh. yes Everything yes oh, I've gone through, through me, Benny. when they are first now he's his favorite, his favorite pupil now he's like Count Dracula or something like that the way he's talking you know there's, there's Todd White here maybe one of the other times he seems to be you know attending all of Benny Hinn's things to that's what occultists do they hang around graveyards or they go to uh, these meetings to get spiritual power they go for long fasts that's what occultists do don't be afraid says the Lord well it was Benny you said that I mean come on what is it? I, I don't understand why he puts this voice on. And maybe he's trying to sound like God, or I don't know. It's just demonic. And and there's Todd here. Man. One more time. Look at the Todd. The force be with you, Todd. The force be with you. Well, let's uh, hear Benny Hinn's big truth. You know, here we go. He's going to open his mouth. He's not going to lie. He's going to speak the truth. They just released a study. This will bless Bruno, I think. They just released a study that more people are healed in a Catholic church than Pentecostal churches. Want to hear that again? They just released a study. This will bless Bruno, I think. They just released a study that more people are healed in a Catholic church than Pentecostal churches. Oh, and it's not just that, my friends. Because in the Catholic Catechism, you're not even saved unless you take the Eucharist, unless you take the monstrous, this uh, cookie and menstrual blood wine. No, it's a fact. That's an absolute fact. The studies have proven it. Because Catholic people revere the Eucharist. Wow, I was right. More people get healed in a Catholic church during communion than wow. Pentecostals. During Guys, where have you been, man? Come on, you could start falling, Benny Hinn. Where have you been? What are you doing in your life? And actually, I uh, turned on the TV because I now I want to know what is this all about. And uh, Brother Copeland was on there. Brother Kenneth Copeland, who uh, recently, I think he was the one who had the Pope on his uh, show couple of years ago 
and I just heard him talk about faith and I just heard him talk about who Jesus was to him and I was so blown away and I couldn't get over his eyes he's so emotional Todd White isn't he when he talks you just feel as if he just you don't know if he wants to cry or he wants to explode in joy or he wants to have a mental breakdown or um or what you know he, he wears all these funky shirts you just don't know where the guy's coming from do you but now we know he's, he's a mixed up catholic actually and i'm like oh my gosh like, he's got these amazing eyes that glare right into your soul and i, I was like gosh what is that you know it's the lamp of the body <laughs> so if your eye is single your whole body's full of light and I could see it, and so I'd watch him. I'd watch him on his fishing show, just we sit there on the, the lake, and I'm, really oh my excited. gosh! And so wow! It has it ha had a profound impact. So excited! Just the, the whole out. word of faith, just believing the word and just going after the word and That's going the after Eucharist. the, the truth right. of what the word says. Fratello a fratello, un abbraccio, grazie. Wow. This is uh, Kenneth Copeland, of course, uh, embracing the Pope there back in 2014. Uh, as they pray in the spirit of Antichrist to bring in the New World Order religion under the false prophet and uh, the Antichrist and um, well I guess they're just jostling for position to see who's going to be in these big positions uh, so let's just wonder and find out who's who's going to uh, take these pl coveted places you know from the book of Revelation I've always kind of looked at this guy Kenneth Copeland I've looked into his eyes I've looked at his face and uh, literally he looks like a fully fledged devil. Um, I wasn't really big on the shape shifting theory about uh, reptilians but I look at this guy and I think it's definitely possible. That's how I feel about Kenneth Copeland. Uh, don't know about you. I just felt very honored and very humbled. I was seeing the Pope give the Mass to 100,000 people that day. You just see he just has such Joel. a heart to help people. I love the fact that he's made God, the church so exciting more inclusive. Watching this. Isn't that exciting? Not to make it smaller, but to try to make it larger, to take everybody yeah, in. Yeah, make it bigger. Not to make it smaller, Papa? but to try to make it That's larger, right. to take everybody in. So yeah. that just resonates with me. You know, he really Wonderful. expressed his desire Look for us to pray for him. As well. Isn't he asked us so to pray exciting. for the Middle East. It seems like the Vatican was trying to send a message yes. by doing this. What would you say that is? I think the message is, is that they respect people, all people, and that they want to see unity. Was it surreal? All right, Jesus says in the last days, many false prophets shall come in his name. And also, uh, many people will be deceived into following the Antichrist spirit and finally the Antichrist. Jesus' name. All right. Okay. <laughs> so I'm so excited. Bless you. Oh. Hi, Papa. Oh, I'm just so touched. All right. I just want to join so you guys. so touched, Todd. Okay, here's, here's the deal. Isn't that big? Just so big hearted, Todd, aren't you? Oh, I love Catholics and I love the Catholic Church most of all. It just gets me so excited. Killing all these Christians in the past and they're just, they just want to uh, you know, lead the one world ecumenical movement under the umbrella of Catholicism. What's wrong with that? I don't understand why people got upset with this. <laughs> I believe that the Catholic Church and the Christian Church yeah. are going to come together. Come together. Come together. <laughs> I'm so excited, Todd. I'm so excited. Yes. Right <laughs> oh. Uh, th this just reminds me of like you know 1990 where you know the three tenors and Pavarotti just gave a, a phenomenal performance you know performance of the century you know this is just the same look at them you know the the three Stooges no sorry I, I mean the three uh, 
I don't know, the, 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 the three frogs that come out of the false prophet's mouth. I don't know who they are, but let's continue. Thank you in the name of Jesus, God. God, shake your head when you say, thank you, God. Just shake your head. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm so excited. For a mighty baptism <laughs> on the Catholic Church, God. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes, in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you oh. in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. <laughs> Jesus name. In Jesus' name again. God, I thank you. <laughs> thank you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus again. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just so we're sure, Todd White loves Jesus. But he also loves pedophile priests. And he also loves the Pope who says that he is the vicar of Christ. Yes, get that mouth open, young man. Holy Spirit, more. Fire. Jesus' name. Fire. Oh, you'll be getting fire, Todd. You'll be getting a lot of fire quite soon, my friend. <laughs>